What's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. So I want to talk about the Pro 2 subscription services. If you follow the audio news, stuff like that, if you come over to the Pro 2 expert sites or similar sites, I'm pretty sure this has been discussed. Here's what's going on. Avid wants you to subscribe. So you could use Pro Tools every year for 300 bucks, 299 US dollars. If you want to flat out buy it, $899. So you have a subscription and then you have a perpetual license. And perpetual license means you could buy the software without renewing it. I'm not going to go through all the prices, but as you can see, it shows you from the first year to the seventh year. Insane. This thing has a lot of people scratching their heads. So when Pro Tools 12 comes out, it's going to be supported for 12 months. So within that year, if Pro Tools 13 comes out, you'll get it. You don't have to pay for it as long as you keep paying that subscription. Now, if you don't have the subscription, you have to flat out buy the software. Now with Pro Tools 12, they're introducing collaboration tools, which I think are pretty cool. I've never used anything like that. You have other services out there. I don't remember the name of the service, but you have a service that you could, uh, you know, record remotely and stuff like that. I know I've made videos about it in the past. I just don't remember the name of the company. I think it's Source Live, I believe. I've never used the software, but I've seen people use it, and it's amazing. It works. So I'm pretty sure the new uh, collaboration tool within Pro Tools 12 is going to be great. Am I going to use it? That's a different story. They're also going to be introducing Freeze Track from what I heard. So we just have to wait and see. So I really want to know what you guys think about this. Would you guys jump on the subscription uh, bandwagon or would you guys flat out buy the software? Personally, I'm going to hold on to 11 for a while. I'm going to see how this goes. Normally, when a new version of Pro Tools comes out, I'm excited. I go pick it up right away without hesitation. Well, this time I'm going to wait a while. So what I would like you guys to do, check the description. Give me a thumbs up. And again, post in the bottom. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.